Have you ever pondered the complex intricacies of the Sultanate of Sulu or the life of its most intriguing Sultan Jamalul Kiram II? The tale of Jamalul Kiram II is a fascinating one, as his life was steeped in political maneuverings and power struggles. Born into a world of privilege and responsibility, Jamalul was always destined for greatness. In the late 19th century, the Sultanate of Sulu was rocked by a sudden change of power. Sultan Harun al-Rashid, a figure of considerable influence, allegedly abdicated the throne. The reasons behind this abrupt departure remain shrouded in mystery, but what we do know is that it paved the way for the ascension of Jamalul Kiram II. In the year of 1894, Jamalul Kiram II stepped up to the throne, ready to lead the Sultanate of Sulu into a new era. His coronation was a pivotal moment, not just for him personally, but for the entire Sultanate. With the weight of expectation heavy on his shoulders, Jamalul Kiram II was now at the helm of a society on the cusp of significant change. Thus began the reign of Jamalul Kiram II, a reign that would be marked by treaties, struggles and a fall. Being a Sultan is no easy feat, especially in a world fraught with colonial tension, would you agree? As the Sultan of Sulu, Jamalul Kiram II found himself in the midst of just such a world, navigating treacherous waters and making decisions that would reverberate through history. Kiram's reign was marked by his efforts to maintain the sovereignty of the Sulu Sultanate in the face of colonial expansion. This quest led him to the negotiation table with various nations, resulting in a series of treaties that would shape the future of his people. Notably, the Kiram Bates Treaty, signed with the United States in 1899, promised mutual non-aggression and respect of territorial integrity. However, this treaty proved to be as fleeting as a desert mirage. Just five years later, the United States unilaterally retracted the treaty, leaving Kiram and his people in a state of uncertainty and tension. This move was seen as a betrayal by the Sultan and his followers, fueling resentment and sparking the Moro struggle against American expansion. The Moro struggle was a pivotal period in Kiram's reign. As the Sultan, he found himself thrust into the role of a military leader, spearheading the resistance against the encroaching American forces. His leadership during this time showcased his commitment to the sovereignty of his people and their right to self-determination. Yet, the political tension of the time was like a tightening noose. The world was changing rapidly, with colonial powers extending their reach and reshaping the geopolitical landscape. Amidst this turmoil, Kiram struggled to keep his Sultanate afloat, wrestling with the realities of a world in flux. For all his efforts, Jamalul Kiram II found himself in a world where the tides were turning against him. His struggle was not in vain, however, as his legacy continued to inspire his people long after his reign had ended. But that, dear listeners, is a tale for another time. The mighty often fall, don't they? But what legacy do they leave behind? Let's turn our gaze to the year 1915, a defining moment in the narrative of Jamalul Kiram II, the Sultan of Sulu. It was a year that saw the Sultan's resignation to the Carpenter Treaty an event that marked the end of the Sulu Sultanate, a powerful entity that had held sway for centuries. This resignation was not a mere surrender. It was a strategic decision, a move that was meant to secure the greater good for his people, even if it meant the downfall of his own rule. But the Sultan's political journey didn't end here. In fact, it was just the beginning of a new chapter. Fast forward to 1931. A shift in the political landscape saw Jamalul Kiram II stepping into the political arena, this time as a senator. For three years, from 1931 to 1934, he served with distinction, further cementing his legacy as a leader who was not just a monarch, but also a statesman. In 1936, the final curtain fell on the life of this remarkable man. His death marked the end of an era stirring up a whirlwind of questions about succession. You see, the Sultan had no son, no heir to continue his lineage. His lack of a successor led to an unprecedented situation, sparking off a series of events that still resonate today. But the Sultan's legacy is not confined to his bloodline. It extends far beyond. 
into the annals of history, in the hearts of his people, and in the narrative of a nation that he once ruled. His reign may have ended, but his influence endures. And so ended the reign of Jamalul Kiram II, a man of power, struggle, and resilience. His legacy, however, lives on, etched in the annals of history.